Hello everyone, we are going to start to wrap up the uh, Pentium K anniversary build because the unit is down here I'm benchmarking it at the moment, we're overclocking that tiny little dual core CPU um, they run at 3.2 normally, at the moment we're running at 4.4 so we're nice and stable um, I'm just doing some benchmarks with Intel Extreme Tuning just to make sure things are stable, just to see where we can get it. Uh, we've been running stress tests on it, so I'm running stress tests for 20 minutes and then no knocking it up and knocking it up. Now, when I get somewhere where we start to blue screen, I'll check temperatures and the likes. Like you do when you overclock, you have to do it. So I'm going to pop this out, we'll have a look at the screen and see what the latest benchmark is doing. He says, trying to take his camera out. So, you're going to have to excuse the state of the office. I've got two keyboards set up and all sorts. So, right. Running at 4.4. Highest temperature was 62 that time. So we've got 315 marks. So we compare it online. So when we look at this. This was my first. UK Ren, 236 marks. This was at stock speed. Um, so that was at 3.2. 315. So we've had one, 309 was at 4.3. And 315, 3.3. 2.9. See, I haven't done anything with the memory yet either, so that's going to make a difference. This is what we want to get. What's this guy? Pentium at 6, <laughs> 6.1, yeah, um, I would imagine there was some liquid nitrogen involved there, so 4.8 would do me, so 355, we need to get another 30 marks out of this, so going to have some fun. Those blue LEDs are lovely. Looks really, really nice. Or as nice as we can make it, because there's uh, some tangly, tangly cables in there. Uh, disk drive obviously won't be staying there, and the USB will be plugged back in. And the best bit Now that looks awesome and I apologise for the amount of time it's taken me to get this build up. I've been really stupid busy as I've been saying in all my videos recently. Really stupid busy. But I had an hour. So just before we, uh, if, if this was going to be delivered today, it probably won't now. But I just plugged it in, Windows update, killed everything. <laughs> so we had to you take it back to defaults and then kind of restore it and reinstall Windows and it was a pain in the ass. Um, so we've got a GTX super super clocked uh, EVGA 960 in there um, running at about 1300 and just under 2000 memory. We've got a Pentium anniversary. Uh, stock is 3.2. We've got this uh, a stable 4.5, 4.6 was getting too it was getting too hot and it was getting too lumpy and glitchy so I'll put it back to 4.5 um, still a beast mind you uh, we've got the HyperX Fury SSD in there where I made that little mount so uh, that's 120 gig that's got the OS and anything important on it there's a 500 gig hard drive in there uh, no bigger than that because of the budget we were on unfortunately but it's a uh, it's a nice fast one 
Uh, it's the MSI Z87i gaming motherboard, uh, which is the little tiny one, about that big. It's got uh, 8 gig of 1866 Corsair Don Platt, which I had spare. Um, so that's in there as well. That's about it. We've got the NZXT uh, LED strip on there, and before I finish this bit, I'll plug it in. Not in the garden, because that would be pointless. I will plug it in and um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you it running. Pop a few, uh, maybe not benchmarks, but I'll just show you um, what we've done with the CPU and that as well. Thanks for watching. So this uh, two week PC build took me three, three months almost. And uh, again, for that I apologize. Questions, comments, pop them down here. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Thank <laughs> you.